the villi of the small intestine by kscience.com. In this video, we're going to look at the adaptations of the villi. Villi are folds in cells. In this example, you've got three villi, A, B, and C. Villi A is covered in microvilli. So where there are folds in cells called villi that are large folds, microvilli are microscopic sized folds that cover the surface of cells. So as you can see here, I'm drawing microvilli and I'm purposefully not drawing any microvilli on villi B. So remember, folds in the cells are called villi and folds that cover the cells, like the ones I'm coloring in here, are called microvilli. So on villi B, I have purposely drawn no microvilli. The function of microvilli is to increase the surface area of the cell. So it increases the surface area of the cell. So villi A has a larger surface area because it's covered in microvilli. In comparison to villi B, which has no microvilli, as you can see here, and therefore has a smaller surface area. So villi B with no microvilli has a lower surface area than villi A. The benefit of having a larger surface area is that there are therefore going to be more diffusion points on the villi. So as you can see here, due to the increased surface area given by the microvilli, there are going to be more diffusion points for molecules like food, for example, to diffuse from the small intestine and into the blood. Compared to villi B, where there are no microvilli, that will lead to a lower surface area and fewer diffusion points for food to exit the small intestine and into the blood. So an increased surface area due to microvilli will increase the rate of absorption due to an increased rate of diffusion. So where there are no microvilli, which leads to a lower surface area, this will decrease the rate of absorption due to the decreased rate of diffusion of molecules across the membrane. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The next adaptation of a villi is that it's going to have a good blood supply. So what I'm drawing here is a network of capillaries inside the villi. In comparison to villi B, where I'm drawing a network of capillaries with fewer capillaries. So this one has a lower blood supply than villi A. So the villi needs a good blood supply. It needs a good blood supply. This is to increase the volume of molecules absorbed from the other side of the villi membrane. So the larger the blood supply, the more molecules can be absorbed, as they can carry molecules away more quickly too. There needs to be a large blood supply of capillaries, and they need to be close to the surface membrane of the villi. As I'm drawing one now, this shows that the food molecules can then travel a lower distance across the membrane to the blood supply and therefore can be taken to organs more quickly. Because in this diagram here, where there are fewer blood capillaries, there are going to be fewer areas for the food to be absorbed into and less molecules can be carried away. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Another adaptation of the villi is that it's got a one cell thick membrane. So the membrane of a villi is one cell thick. I'm drawing here two villi. This first one has a one cell thick membrane and this second one has a two cell thick membrane. So if the wall of the villi is one cell thick, that means molecules have less distance to diffuse across. Whereas if there's two 
cells in the wall of the villi, the molecules have got to diffuse further and that will take longer. So if you have a three cell thick wall villi, that means that the molecules are going to take even longer to diffuse across because they've got to travel a further distance across the membrane. So it will take longer for diffusion to happen. So a one cell thick wall will increase the rate of absorption by diffusion. Villi C is the villi of someone who has celiac disease. The villi of someone with celiac disease is going to be shorter and have fewer microvilli on their surface. This leads to a decrease in the rate of absorption of molecules, which can lead to a gluten intolerance. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.